Hello everyone, it's me, the Bad Empanada. Today's topic is that screaming, Hey, that's what about ism is a stupid cop-out. This has one singular purpose, so that hypocrites can avoid addressing the very, very valid fact that they are hypocrites, while simultaneously proclaiming themselves as the winner of the argument without actually having done anything. By hypocrite here, I mean someone who engages in the same behavior or activity for which they criticize another and or who fails to follow one's own expressed moral rules or principles. So let's say that there's an argument somewhere over some hot button topic right now, like concentration camps for Uyghurs in China. And I personally denounce it with every fiber of my being. Let's say that you do too, and you make it known. And then someone shows up and says, but hey, you're American, and I don't see you saying anything about the concentration camps you guys have over there for immigrants. You know, the camps where people are tortured and raped by the guards every single day? And let's say that in response to that, you say, um, that's whataboutism, I win, bye. Well, no, it's not, and no, you didn't. The fact that you are being a hypocrite, that you are not applying your purported principles consistently is an incredibly valid point, and not one that you can simply brush off by throwing out a set phrase. And it's especially relevant if you're from a country that does the same sort of thing, not just the US, but also other countries that engage in similar sorts of atrocities, like Australia, the country where I'm from, for example. Australia also has concentration camps, and I've spent years talking about them, long before I even found out what was going on in China. If you actually live in a country, you have far more ability to influence its domestic affairs. And this sort of stuff might actually be happening like near where you personally live, or you might personally know people who are victims. So it looks very sus if you barely even talk about the same sort of things that are happening right at your doorstep. But when the same sorts of things are happening on the other side of the world, you have a whole lot to say about it. The only valid response when someone questions you like this is to say, yes, I do acknowledge the camps in the US and they are awful. Here are a few examples of me denouncing them in the past. Now let's continue on with the topic. Anything less than that, shows very, very clearly that you do not genuinely care at all about the suffering of anyone involved, and that you're just cynically using these people's suffering as a tool to attack a country that you don't like, or that you perceive as a geopolitical opponent or whatever. You do not care at all about the human beings involved on either side. And even worse than what about ism is if you come out and actually try to defend it or justify it or deny it. That makes you exactly the same as your opponents. The only difference is that you are doing the same thing on different sides. Neither of you genuinely care about the victims. If you're horrified by what's going on in China, and you're also equally horrified by similar stuff that's going on elsewhere, irrespective of whether the guilty party flies a flag that you prefer, that's great, thank you. But if not, and someone points out that you are a hypocrite, and all that you can do is just impotently shout, hey, that's what about ism in response, as if it's some sort of gotcha that makes you the instant winner of the argument, and the fact that you are a hypocrite somehow irrelevant, you actually just kinda lost, buddy, because that point that you are not consistently applying your purported principles, and thus, you do not genuinely hold those principles and do not genuinely care about the issue at hand, aside from it being a convenient way for you to get one up over your enemy, is entirely valid. And you yourself are just so transparently avoiding that topic, which is exactly what your accusation of whataboutism is supposed to imply. Ha ha.